Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ha? and let's have this topic. So finding the integral of algebraic functions, so using these formulas, so the integral of x to the power n times the dx equals x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. And also the integral of dx, that's equal to x plus c. So, if we have this given, so the integral of 4 times the dx, so first, we need to rewrite this given, so we can put this constant outside, so outside the integral, so this becomes 4, then the integral of the dx, then to evaluate this integral, so just uh, copy this constant, then times the integral of dx, and that's x, so we have x, then plus c. So therefore, the integral is 4x plus c. Then for this given, so again, we need to put this constant outside the integral. So this becomes 3, then the integral of x times the dx. Then to evaluate this integral, so write this constant, then times the integral of x times dx, so using this formula, and for this given, n is equal to 1. So we have x to the power n plus 1, so x to the power 1 plus 1, because n is equal to 1, over 1 plus 1, then plus c. Then simplify, so we have 3 times 1 plus 1, so x to the power 2 over 2, then plus c. Then simplify, so over 1, multiply, so therefore this becomes 3 over 2, then x to the power 2, then plus c. Then for this given, so again we need to put the constant outside the integral, so the constant is 2 over 5, so we can have 2 over 5. Then the integral of x dx, then to evaluate this integral, so copy the constant, 2 over 5 times the integral of x dx, so this is x, then 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, because n is equal to 1, then plus c, then simplify, so this one is 2 over 5 times x to the power 2 over 2, plus c, then we can have now this 5 times 2, so that's 2 over 10, then x to the power 2, plus c. Then since we can reduce this 2 over 10, so divisible by 2, so this becomes 2 divided by 2, that's 1, then over 10 divided by 2, that's 5, so x to the power 2, plus c. So this is now the final answer. Then for this given, so we can rewrite this uh, integral by bringing up this x to the power 5. So when we bring up, the sign of the exponent will change so from positive to negative or negative to positive. So this becomes 7, then x to the power since positive 5 becomes negative 5. Then the dx, then we need to put this constant outside, so this becomes 7, then the integral of x to the power negative 5, then the dx, then to evaluate this integral, so using this formula, so just bring down this constant, then times x, so n is negative 5, then plus 1. So n plus 1 over negative 5 plus 1, then plus c. Then to simplify, so we have 7, then times x. So negative 5 plus 1, that's negative 4 over negative 4, then plus c. Then we have this over 1, so multiply. So this becomes 7 over negative 4. Then times x to the power negative 4 plus c. Then if you want to make this exponent positive, so bring down. 
So this becomes 37 over negative 4. We can rewrite this one as negative 7 over 4. Then bring down. So this becomes x to the power positive 4. Then plus c. Then for this given, so first we need to rewrite this radical in exponential form. So this becomes the integral of x to the power 1 third, then the dx. Then to evaluate this integral using this formula, so n is equal to 1 over 3. So we have x, then 1 over 3, then plus 1, so n plus 1 over 1 over 3 plus 1, then plus c. Then to simplify, so this 1 over 3 plus 1, so 1 over 3 plus 1, so we're going to use the cross multiplication. So 1 times 1, that's 1, plus 3 times 1, that's 3, then over 3 times 1, that's 3. So therefore, this 1 over 3 plus 1 is 4 over 3. So we have now x to the power 4 over 3 over 4 over 3 plus c. Then we can find the reciprocal or the inverse of this uh, denominator. So 4 over 3, the reciprocal or the inverse is 3 over 4 times x to the power 4 over 3 then plus c. So this is now the final answer. Then for this given, so to evaluate this integral, we need to distribute this integral to every terms and we need to put all the constant outside the integral. So this becomes the integral of x to the power 3, then this dx, then plus for this term. So we need to put this constant outside, then the integral of x squared times the dx minus, so put this constant outside, then the integral of x, then the dx plus, put this constant outside, so the integral of dx. Then using this formula, so plus 1 for the exponent, so this becomes x to the power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus 5 times x to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, then minus 3 times x, so n is 1, so 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 7 times the integral of dx is x, then plus c. Then to simplify, so this 3 plus 1, so this is x to the power 4 over 4 plus 5 times x to the power 2 plus 1, that's 3 over 3. Then minus 3 times x, so we have 1 plus 1 to the power 2 over 2 plus 7 times x, this one is 7x, then plus c. Then we can rewrite this one as x to the power 4 over 4 plus, so this is over 1, so multiply, that's 5 over 3, x to the power 3, then minus, so multiply, that's 3 over 2, x to the power 2, then plus 7x plus c. So this is now the final answer. Then for this given, so again, distribute this integral to every terms and put all the constant outside. So we can rewrite this one, so this is the constant, so we have 3, then the integral of x to the power 3, then the dx, then minus, so this constant, 3 over 4, then the integral of x squared times the dx. Plus, so this constant, that's 2, times the integral of x to the power 1 half times the dx. Plus, so we need to bring up this uh, exponent. So this one is the integral of x to the power negative 3. Then 
the dx. Then evaluate the integral using this formula, so n plus 1. So bring down the constant times x, so plus 1 over 3 plus 1, then minus 3 over 4 times x2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, then minus 2 times x, so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1, then plus this x to the power negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1, then plus c. Then to simplify, so this becomes 3 times, so 3 plus 1, that's x to the power 4 over 4. Then minus 3 over 4 times, so x to the power 3 over 3, so that's 2 plus 1. Then minus 2 times, so this 1 half plus 1. So 1 half plus 1, so over 1. So you have 1 plus 2 over 2. So this one is 3 over 2. So this 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. So x to the power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. Then plus, so this one is x negative 3 plus 1 to the power negative 2 over negative 2. Then plus c. Then to simplify, so this is over 1, so this one is 3 over 4, then x to the power 4. Then this, uh, we can cancel this 3, so this becomes negative 1 over 4, then x to the power 3, then minus 2 times the reciprocal of this 3 over 2, so the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3 times x to the power 3 over 2. Then positive and negative, that's negative. So x to the power negative 2 over positive 2. Then plus c. Then simplify, so this is 3 over 4 x to the power 4 minus 1 over 4 x to the power 3 then minus so this is over 1 so multiply that's 4 over 3 then x to the power 3 over 2 then minus so to make this exponent positive so bring down so this is 1 then over 2x to the power 2 then plus c so this is now the final answer.